2012 Honda CRV. Um, we're gonna take off the leads here, but what we did is we turned a multimeter over. This is a new battery, by the way, because the other one was having a hard time holding charge anyway, so I wanted to go ahead and start with fresh battery. We're at 12.6 volts, but battery lights on on the dash and when you rev it up it actually goes down just a little bit so that's the spark going to the spark plug I'm pretty sure bad alternator so we're gonna go ahead and put a new one on it's a little different than the 2010 video I have so we're gonna make a video on it we're gonna take these posts uh, take these connections off make sure this one doesn't touch the other one if if what you have is metal so I'm just going to disconnect this loosen it up enough to disconnect our post because we're going to be dealing with the alternator and we don't want to have any connection there all right there we go let me tuck that down in there so it doesn't accidentally touch the terminal again all right so now we're good done. Let me make sure I'm getting into the right area. Yeah. I'm going to lift this bad boy up. So we're going to go ahead and loosen these up, get the wheel off, and then open up that panel to get inside. All right, this bottle, without having to do anything there, um, you can take it out, just move it aside. There's a bracket down in here we're going to have to take out. Here's our alternator. We're going to take that bracket out and we're going to have to take this light bulb out to make room and get everything down in there. But there's our um, tensioner pulley. We've got our pulley here and we've got our alternator just down there Even below. bolts it. by hand so they don't drop it. There's that bracket. Go ahead and place it somewhere. All right, so this one is a 14 on that tensioner pulley. Lock these two wrenches together and I'll show you just sec uh, how I did it. If you haven't ever seen it before, most people have. And what I'm doing is I'm pulling on that tensioner so I can slip this belt off. I don't think I'm going to slip it all the way off right now. I'm just going to leave it where it's at. All right, so this pulley here is also a 14. Now, I don't think it has a nut in there that I can feel. Area here. Yeah, I don't see anything that can fall off. So that just looks like where it rotates and I don't feel a nut back in there. So back in here, there's a hole. The, the threads are in there. Like the threads are mounted right down in here. All right, so I'm almost positive this thing has a nut on the back side of it. I can kind of feel it now that it's gotten loose. Like I can take that, kind of shake it around. And I don't know if my hand will fit in there. And I definitely don't want to lose it. So what I'm going to do probably has an insert. I'm going to pull on that bolt. To, in case that nut is inserted, like if it's extruded somehow in there where that nut will fit. Oh, I just heard something fall. I think that's just the front part of this. Yeah, it was. Okay, so we're good there. Take that off. I just want to feel in there. Yeah, there's a nut right in there. Kind of want to just leave it in. Oh, that was a bad move. I heard that thing fall but I don't see it. All right, this top one is a 12. So 
Got a 12 right there. I'm gonna see if I can get my little impact in there. I've already broke it loose. We've still got to find that other nut. I may have to get my magnet out and see if I can't drop it around in there and see if we can find it. I knew I shouldn't have knocked it out of there. If not, we might be able to find one to replace it. All right, so I brought that 12 out, but I don't want to take it out yet because I know there are two at the bottom. Might have to come from below, I think, to break those loose. I'm going to see how my hand fits up underneath there because this is not going to provide. There's one. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe with that extension, I can reach up underneath there and hit those. We'll see. Let me do those. I want to take those out first because this is going to be kind of our pivot point. All right, we got those two 12s out of there. I'm going to set those there for now. Let's see if I can do this one by hand. All we'll have to do is disconnect the wires on the back of the alternator. Let me see if I can pull that out a little bit better with this. Yeah. All right, this one's much longer. Be hard to get that one confused. That's a 12. Let's go ahead and set those aside. We'll take a light bulb out. Let me see which way that twists. There we go. So that is a 10. Get in there and see if I can't undo it without dropping it. There we go. Got it. That's an 8 for the back part of this thing. This thing, my whopper. There we go. Pull that off. Now we'll see if we can't finesse the alternator out. That's going to be the first thing we had to put back on. This one here, we're going to put on first, and then we'll reverse the process for the other wires. We'll plug it in, so we're going to plug that in, and then we'll uh, bolt that one back on. That is the replacement we're going to use. Take this stuff off, and then look at everything. Looks like everything's going to match up. That part right there is going on first. So we got to get it in there, go face down, and then we got to turn it back around. These two go on the bottom, that goes on the top. All right, let's see if we can get that bad boy down in there. This has to go, so it's got to go down in and turn. I don't know. Let's just get it in there. I've got that bolt off. The last wire we took off, I've got it on now. So oh, that was the 10, or no, sorry, that was the 8. All right, so let's lower that. Let's get that on. Good. All right, so that's on there. Um, on the first one we took off, and now the last one we're going to install, that 10, I forgot to take that nut out while I had it off. So I'm going to do that. Let's see if I can fit that in there. Maybe loose enough. So I'm going to uncover that. I'm going to try to push it down. There we go. Got it. Now we can put the nut on. See, because my hands are in the way, but there is no space. Tighten it down. I don't want to tighten it down too much. All right, so that's good. I'm going to move this over. I'm going to put that top one in first. So I found that nut, and I'll be able to get to it where it's at. All right, there's the nut. All right, here's our first bolt. Last bolt that we took out there when we disassembled it, but it's going to be the first one we put back in to kind of mount it up here and get everything lined up. Let me see if I can find that hole. There we go. I want to get a couple of those in there before I tighten that yeah, down. That one's definitely threading in. I 
let's do this one get it to the same point yeah that one feels like it's yeah I can't pull it back out run that bolt down this these are 12s remember I got under there and thought I had a 12 on there all right there we go and I'm just going to tighten that down a little bit more all right that's good there's that nut for the belt tensioner that's going to go on the back side of that so I'm going to try to do that first <laughs> I should have put it in place I think before I put that alternator back on but I'm going to try it and see to get that back in doesn't feel like I'll have to nope got it in there good I do not want it to fall out that ruler hopefully I'm hoping that I'll keep it in place so it should once it threads on that nut that should pull it forward but yeah it did come off the flywheel so before I pull it any further let me put it back on so this is why I took this side panel off just makes it easier to get over here to the flywheel and make sure that is lined up over here with the AC compressor on this side here here's our flywheel I'm just making sure it's running up to the next pulley that is we'll go ahead and pull that off to the side and get our 14 now my 2010 it's a 15 for the um, tensioner that down and, uh, all right, that's how they're locked into place. All right, that's moving that away. Let's see if I can work this in. All right, there we go. And if it's not lined up, I can mess with the tensioner and get it back in line. I just want to feel, make sure that is lined up on the compressor. There's no space there. Yeah, it's right in there where it needs to be. I don't feel that it's off anywhere. Give that another turn on this side and then we'll snap the bottle in. There we go. Make sure that snaps in good. Let's reattach our battery. The battery light on there. Give it some time because sometimes it can turn back on. But everything else is good because I got the door open. All right, we're charging again. We'll go give it a drive around the block once we get all the stuff underneath the car hooked back up. 